Following what I believe was incredibly weak response from Joe Biden in regard to the acts of sedition, what we're seeing with violence by domestic terrorists and Trump supporters in our nation's capital. Luckily, progressives like Cori Bush spoke out and has already taken action. So I wanna share what she put out on Twitter. She says, I believe the Republican members of Congress who have incited this domestic terror attack through their attempts to overturn the election must face consequences. They have broken their sacred oath of office. I will be introducing a resolution calling for their expulsion. And again, in that tweet, she embedded the resolution that she's talking about. This is, this, it's not even a debate. This absolutely needs to happen. This absolutely needs to happen. And Democrats don't have an excuse, right? Um, they can get this done. Yeah. They can get it done. Make it happen. Well, because if there aren't consequences for what we're seeing right now, it will get worse. That's the issue here, right? Uh, the Trump administration has gotten away with everything so far because of GOP enablers. And if the GOP wants to enable Donald Trump and his goons on what happened today, there's plenty of footage for you to show the American people. And use your bully pulpit to apply pressure to GOP lawmakers who think what's happening today is okay, who think this is cute, who are in favor of authoritarianism and acts of sedition. Yeah, well, look, I agree with you that they should definitely try and they should do all of the things both inside and outside of government that you're talking about. I think the issue is that, like, it didn't matter if, you know, 10 people, 100 people, 1,000 people had been killed by Trump's goons. There aren't, you know, a handful of reasonable Republicans, you know, to rub together that could actually, you know, vote to convict him and remove him. It just wouldn't happen. They should do it anyway. They have to. They have to do whatever they can to try to stop this. But we also knew who. The opposition is. We know who Mitch McConnell, you know, isn't going to try to overturn the results because, again, he can't. He actually couldn't do it. Saying you're not going to do something that you know you can't do, I'm not going to give you full credit on. Um, but would he actually convict Trump? Well, he didn't the last time Trump tried to, you know, involve the Ukrainian government in our election. Kind of doubt he's going to do it at this point. Yeah, look, we need the Republican members of Congress who signed on to this crap out. Uh, they are not fit to uh, be in any type of position of power in government, especially if they're uh, complicit in helping to overthrow our system of government and dismantle our democracy. So I love what Cori Bush is doing here. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I just don't want to hear another peep from the Biden administration about the need for bipartisanship right now. No, 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 what's happening right now is a, is a national emergency and he needs to treat it as such. He needs to stop pretending as if what we experienced over the last four years was just a temporary thing that magically goes away as soon as he takes office. That's not how it yeah. works. That's no. not how it works. No. You need to actually address it. You need to address it. This is representative of the Republican Party. The vast majority of Republican voters approve of Donald Trump and what he's doing right now. The people who stormed the Capitol today said that they were proud of what they did. They were proud of breaking into the Capitol building. They were proud of vandalizing the Senate floor and various congressional offices. They were proud of it. They think that they're patriots. You can't just ignore that. You need to actually address it. And I have not seen anything strong enough from Joe Biden. He needs to prosecute Donald Trump. He needs to commit to that. Um, and also, uh, you know, definitely um, learn more details about uh, Cory Bush's resolution. Um, and and you know, we need to pressure uh, members of Congress to to do the right thing here. Uh, this is something very serious, and it should not be minimized. Um, I also want to draw attention to a petition we're doing. Um, you can find the petition at tyt.com/petition/kickthemout. And this is a petition to expel all legislators who are rejecting the results of this election. Um, you know, and again, to reiterate for the billionth time on this show, uh, the Trump campaign has failed to provide any evidence, even a shred of evidence indicating that there was widespread voter fraud. Donald Trump lost the election to the tune of 7 million votes. He was a failure in his term. Hundreds of thousands of Americans are dead from this pandemic, which he could not care less about. He needs, he needs to get out. Uh, but more importantly, he needs to be prosecuted. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get 
playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.